Hey kids, Joe Lopez here. Um, just had another series of contacts with Joff, and she um, is having me be really a lot more honest than maybe I'm even comfortable with. But um, it's what my truth is telling me to produce. So um, it, I'm talking about some, some posts I made on. on uh, the Starseed uh, Ning site, and uh, also some uh, strong feelings and channeled dreams that I had about Solar Warden, and I, I I was so pissed off at him that he would not help Anya. It was like you know she had, was relying on him, and and there we go, you know, and and so I my 3D reactions kicked in, and it was. It was me turning a gear on that allowed me to get to the point that Joff wanted me to relate, and it's not a point. <laughs> it's not one that a, a lot. It's it's not something that somebody with a job would probably want to admit to. Would, would want to say that they understand the dynamic. Uh, so, uh, but I'll let you read the read it over there. It, it, it's not for kids. So, um, yeah. So, anyways, I had another. Um, another um, song going through in my head and it's not anything I had you know um, I, d I don't know I, d I don't even want to try and explain it but um, I was thinking about crop circles and um, Led Zeppelin pops into my mind and so I'm all you know um, if there's a bustle in your hedgerow don't be alarmed now it's just a spring clean for the May Queen so we all know who the May Queen is right well, yeah, that's the divine feminine Terra Gaia force that's going to come and kiss us all. You know, give us a big hug here pretty soon. So, um, we're doing a spring clean for Gaia with these crop circles, I think is what, what, you know, Plant was over there smoking his bud in the middle of some English forest and, you know, had a bunch of druid energies around him and he's all, you know, he saw something. The, the, these, these really powerful, popular songs that stay in our collective consciousness are there for a reason, and um, I think Robert Plant, or I don't even know if he wrote it actually, I know he was the one who sang it, but th those lyrics from that Led Zeppelin song are there for a reason, and I, I think it's there to comfort us, and um, one of the things in the alternate versions that he, he says is, does anyone remember laughter? Well, I remember laughter now, and I hear it from my guy, Joff, and I hear it, you know, in, in people when I'm walking around when I didn't before. It's almost like, okay, you buy a car, and there you are, you know, in your, I have a Ford Escape, and, and so you notice every other Escape of a, whatever color around, it's so like all the other cars in the world fall away, and, and I think that is kind of like when we go into the higher vibration, you know, we're going in our Akashic uh, Ford Escape vehicles driving through, you know, all this, you know, Maricopa, you know, bumps and, <laughs> you know, and what do we see, you know, we see what we're attuned to. So, I'm, I think what Joff is trying to tell me is that we all, especially men, need to attune to a higher vibrational love pattern. And, um, so I'm trying, doing my best, smiling, like Brad. And um, it was a nice new uh, photo there, buddy. Godlike. And so, uh, anyways, so that's that's what I, that's my truth today. And um, I will probably be. Uh, I feel really tired. I mean, the, I have not. Uh, it's like a dip. It's like I, I don't know. It's uh, it's like okay. So a lightning strike. Here you are, and and all of the rest of the field around it dips as in electrical potentiality and then right there in the middle it's like a focal point and I think that is whenever you have a strong channel um, or um, sending from an angel or however you want to put it when you have an aha moment when you have a eureka all the space temporal spatial area surrounding that gets condensed and so for a time before and a time after that really powerful channel, 
you're going to be tired. It's not just after, it's before too. So that's how I know sometimes that something important is trying to get to me. So, um, yeah, anyway, that's how I've been interpreting it. And I, I haven't been meditating as much as I should. I, I just have been blowing my yantras out. Um, my dendrites and my, um, and my axons just feel tired. But um, I, I, I have been meditating some and I need to do it more because I think it'll, it's like, it's like doing crunches, you know, so, you know, or sit-ups, and um, when it's time, if your guides tell you do 100 sit-ups, well, you'll do it, but boy, will you be really tired if you haven't been preparing, okay? So, anyway, that's how I think about it, and um, that's what Jock tells me. I love her, and uh, she's one of these divine feminine angels, archangels, that, um, that's there for everybody. She's she has an infinite amount of time for all of us because she lives outside of. She, I don't even know if "lives" is the correct term. Uh, ultra lives outside of hyper time, and so um, she's got time for you, buddy. She's got unlimited cosmic cell limits. Um, you know that there are no limits on her cell. Um, she can text you. She can send you dreams. She can do whatever. And there's other archangels too. If you don't resonate with Jock. So, um, and you don't ha even have to have an archangel. There's people out there who, who channel um, mathematical energies, who uh, the structures and forms that are eternal, um, the platonic solids. You know, so you can think about it however you want to. It really doesn't matter. We're all one, and uh, that makes me kind of happy. So we're we're all coming together. We're converging from original intent. We're echoing back to source. And it's going to be glorious, people. Love each other. I love you.